dark hunting has been an important source of food and feathers for thousands of years. Its history is well documented through discoveries of early American Indian duck decoys from circa 400 BC. Today, duck decoy collecting and carving is pursued by enthusiasts around the world. Robert, we're here in Pender County. What are we going to learn about today? Well, we're a stone's throw from the Cape Fear River, and we're going to look at a great American folk art, hand-carved duck decoys, which were made in North Carolina from Currituck all the way to Carteret County. But best of all, we're going to be with North Carolina's leading expert, D.C. North. It's a treat. All right, let's go. During the mid-1800s, market demand in the Northeast and the availability of ice and refrigeration created an expanding opportunity for local hunters. What's the history of the duck decoy? What, what changed in hunting to make decoys become so important? That's because the market hunter would want to kill, deco uh, kill ducks in great numbers. Sometimes they would kill 500 apiece a day and they would take them out to the ship, sailing ship, and uh, they, they had ice, they could ice them down and ship them to market. The 19th century demand for the meat, eggs and feathers spurned excessive hunting, and that, combined with deforestation, reduced natural stocks of wildlife. So did hunting regulations have an impact on decoy carving and the kinds of decoys that were made? Absolutely. After 1918, when the Migratory Waterfowl Act was uh, enacted, and uh, there wasn't as much hunting, although the pressure wasn't put on them because they couldn't ship ducks anymore. They couldn't ship them. Yeah. And that was particularly true for swan decoys. They had a golden age, and then it became impossible to hunt swans, and swan decoys stopped being made. And this would be a great example of a North Carolina swan decoy. What can you tell us about it? That swan decoy was made by a, a gentleman by the name of William Henry Bass Knight. And uh, he probably carved some of the greatest uh, swan decoys that were used for swan hunting that have ever been made. If somebody wanted to start collecting them today, North Carolina decoys, what advice would you give? The thing that I would first uh, advise them to do would be start looking at or going to collections and most collectors will be glad to have you in their home to go in and look at them handle the decoy and you first of all you want to know the maker you want to know the species and you want to know the condition that's the three things that you look for in a collectible decoy and the perfect place to learn more about duck decoys and how to carve them is harkers island in carteret county at the Corsau Museum, you can see a variety of decoys from contemporary decoys to old decoys throughout the museum. And just down the road, young and old alike learn the art of duck decoy carving from the experts. Here at the Corsau Decoy Carvers Guild, uh, we try to teach classes, but we're also more or less a carving club, so we get together on a pretty regular basis and uh, carve decoys, uh, carve Shorebirds, songbirds, fish, uh, different guys do different things. But mostly I think it's just about the, the fellowship and the, uh, and the craft. People just enjoy making things with their hands and this is a good way to do it and a good thing to do. Duck hunting is a North Carolina tradition. Duck decoy carving, a true original American folk art. And you can enjoy the hunt, the carving and collecting at local museums, auction houses, from collectors, local clubs and guilds. For North Carolina Weekend and Collecting Carolina, I'm Julia Carpenter. The Core Sound Waterfowl Museum and Heritage Center is open daily. Check out their website, coresound.com, for the latest events and activities, or phone them at 252-728-1500. And the Core Sound Decoy Carvers Guild has ongoing classes and events throughout the year for kids and adults. Give them a call at 252-838-8818, or visit their website at decoyguild.com. For more information on this series, Collecting Carolina, go to our website, unctv.org slash ncweekend slash collecting, and our series partners at mesda.org.